What is success in treatment? For me, I see success when I wake up in the morning and I'm not angry at the world. When I wake up and I'm grateful to be alive, I'm grateful for the people who make me mad. I'm grateful for the people who make me happy. And I don't wake up with just like this vendetta against everybody who's ever been born. I'm not angry at God. I wake up and I'm alive and I'm there and I can be okay with that. That's success for me. I think going into treatment to be vulnerable, to be honest, to show up and to be present, you need to, you need to forget what you think you know. Because I thought that I knew myself and that I knew people and that I knew the drugs that I was doing. I didn't know any of it, probably least of all myself. My treatment time was really beneficial in the way that it, I feel like I found my identity outside of chemicals during my treatment stay, that um, I dispelled a lot of lies I was believing about myself, and I looked at who I wanted to be going forward and was able to start making some better choices. And it really kind of hit the restart button on my life. Just allow yourself to be vulnerable. Allow yourself to be vulnerable and understand that you're not the only one that is suffering from the disease of addiction. There is help and there is hope to be restored. And it all starts with you allowing yourself the opportunity to one, walk through the door, and two, listen. Most importantly, if you can get to a point where you can allow yourself to be vulnerable in front of other people, that's when you're going to get the most learning. I was always 500 miles away. I was always, it was never here. I was always trying to be somewhere else so I didn't have to feel whatever was going on here. Um, I would tell me to have faith, seek out faith, to have hope and to just wait, wait until the miracle happens. Um, if you have nothing to say, don't say nothing, just stay. It's the scariest thing on earth to change one thing, to change everything, but it's so worth it. Just stay, just stay and listen. We were talking in, in a a session about acceptance and what does it mean to accept something. And um, the, the guy had me write down a list of things that I found unacceptable and I had a lot, you know. I think in two minutes I covered the entire paper. Um, and then he asked me about them and, you know, I, I don't accept this, I don't accept that, I don't have to accept that. And he asked me what I was going to do about it. And I didn't know what I was going to do about it, but I certainly wasn't going to accept it. Um, because my understanding of acceptance was that it's, that it's okay. It, that, that's, not, that's not it. Acceptance is, it is what it is. Um, that happened. It affects me where it doesn't. Now let's move forward. You know, um, if I get upset at anyone, most likely I'm the only one getting uh, affected by that. I think most of my aha moments, moments where I was like, holy crap, I'm in the right place, came from proximity and relatability. So when I went somewhere and someone was talking about their experience and they said something, like someone once said, like, I was high strung and anxious as a child. I was like, oh my God, me too. I'm not the only one. And hearing that, like, made me want to keep listening and it gave me hope and it gave me that connection to another person and it wasn't like you know a great big shining white light coming down on me but it was just knowing that there's someone else like you was aha for me that was huge and also being close to people like while that seems like you know it's a slow thing that's relationship building it was aha for me to surround myself with people like that was so influential on my recovery that meant so much to me my, my sponsor um, asked me to do three things when I met, the first time I met with her. And uh, the first thing she asked me to do is be honest. Because if I'm not honest about what I'm doing in my life to change what I have been doing, then there's no point. There's no, there's nothing to strive for. There's nothing 
to be proud of, because um, I can lie as, as easily as I can breathe. So my honesty, my truth has to be there, and it has to outweigh any fear that I might have about the next response or the next moment. It keeps me um, accountable to myself, if nobody else, because I never did that before, so it's practice. I remember hearing a lot in treatment people who were going to leave. They were mad at the staff or they were having a hard day, and over and over you would hear, I don't need a piece of paper to tell me I'm going to be successful, and they meant like their completion certificate. And um, those people who left angry, who left frustrated, who said, you know, I don't need you to say I'm going to be better, uh, usually did not do well. And it's not that you need a piece of paper, but if you've been using and you've been leading that lifestyle, things probably haven't been going very well for you. You haven't followed through on a lot of things. And so to just stay it through and to follow through with this thing is really going to boost your confidence and give you more success. It's super important to put into practice going against your feelings because your feelings will misguide you. They will say, uh, we don't feel like getting out of bed today. We feel like smoking crack today. We don't feel like eating this. I want to eat this garbage. There's lots of things. And so when you're feeling like you want to leave treatment, to be guided by those standards that you said, well, I need to complete treatment and to push through and do it anyways is good practice going forward because you're going to be in situations after treatment where you feel like using and you need to go, wait, this isn't what I decided. I'm going to continue moving in the right direction and go against those feelings. I was so angry because of the things that I thought I deserved um, for the things that I had lost. And in, in addiction, is easy, it's easy to get to, to a point where you blame everyone else and don't look at yourself for the things that are bad that are happening to you. Just knowing intellectually that I needed to stop wasn't going to be enough. I was going to need to um, ask for help and uh, surrender to something that was bigger than me.